。喺中环嘅荷里活道，有间放名称家具嘅私人博物馆。如果你问有啲咩特别呢，我就会答你：呢度系一间可以摸嘅博物馆。We wanted to offer an experience that was a little bit different from the usual museum experience, and the point about furniture、um, and the point about decorative art is that it has to be functional. That's the main difference between decorative and fine art. We want people to come, and we want them to, you know, touch the wood, to smell it, to sit on the bed. You don't see a lot of them still、um, floating around. In terms of beauty, I just I think the proportions are so flawless. At the same time, it's you know it just makes sense as to what it is. I don't really need to explain. People look at it and it's immediately obvious what it does. But again, you can also step back and it's almost like a sculptural piece. Beyond using a wooden chair to hold the pieces, Feng Yiling is more interested in seeing if he can touch them. 仲话适当嘅触摸可以算系保养嘅一部分。When、um, we were opening the museum, my father, who is the founder and the collector behind most of the objects, his friends all thought I was crazy. They told him to not let his crazy daughter、uh, do what she wanted, and said it's much, much safer、um, to put everything behind glass, which is a standard procedure. And he's always been the one to tell me that you know what he loves about this type of furniture is the fact that they're a part of people's lives. Uh, yeah, there was one incident I think about a year ago where、um, somebody was holding a very small、um, container for ink,、um, and they dropped it on the ground, and it broke. Well, what can you do? <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't take it back.、Um, you can't ask people to pay for it. These are quite priceless objects. So all you can do from that experience is to learn. How can we train our staff to prevent this from happening again? 喺外国读书，讲英文仲多过中文嘅佢，对中国古董嘅兴趣源于细个嗰时，爸爸经常讲古董背后嘅故事俾佢听。My father would always try to answer those questions by telling me the historical context. As a child, what furniture meant to me was an object in which a story always comes out. 爸爸自细就教佢，家私系拎嚟用噶，可能就系今日佢开呢间博物馆嘅根源，或者对好多收藏家嚟讲。古董之所以有趣，除咗因为佢背后嘅历史，更加因为佢将来可以承载更加多嘅历史，一代传一代。Eighty to ninety percent of what I know really just came straight from、um, my father. My father, he、uh, told me so many stories, but even now he continues to educate our staff. We keep saying these. Pieces of furniture they belong to us, but they also are a very important part of Chinese history. For us, it's very important to、um, educate the next generation. You know, we don't sell anything. It's a place where people come for the genuine love of learning. Remember to subscribe to Radio Taiwan. We need to add a bell button.